It's your friend Carson coming back at you again. Uh, just wanted to do a little update. Um, let's see. There's been a little bit of progress since the last time you guys saw me. And I think today will be the day that I put this thing all the way together. Uh, there might be one more video update uh, in this vlog for the absolute final like unveiling unveiling and uh you know getting showing everybody uh the the finished product but we should be able to do our first firing today if all goes well um so i'll turn you guys around and show you where we're at <clears throat> okay so i went ahead and i've installed the um the heating element, these are two, they're underneath uh, that fiber stick cement, but they're two glass insulators where the leads are coming out. And so I guess I'll just start on the outside of this thing. And these little crimps are really great for uh, kilns. Um, so those leads are double twisted uh, cantle wire. And these, these crimps are perfect for uh, terminating and going onto uh, like a stranded wire or even a solid core wire. They're used by electricians generally for the grounding, the bare grounding copper, instead of having to use a, uh, a wire nut for those. Anyways, so you guys remember where we were at with, with the, uh, with the box, the box is pretty much sub-assembled. I went ahead and crimped a couple of leads together and um, I've got to do a little bit of soldering for this. I've got to solder up the uh, the connections for the speakers. I've got to solder on the back side of this, the, uh, the Funkadelica light plug. Um, so we got that going on. Uh, I went ahead and uh, you guys can see those four, those four fasteners there, and underneath and on the inside, they're toggle bolts, which I have. Let me see if I can show you guys this. So, shed some light on the subject. You guys can see there's toggle bolts there, and there's some cantle wire that is trapped underneath the toggle bolt, uh, which is then wrapped around the assembly for the heating element. And just like I said, that heating element is quartz encased. Um, and uh, the, the risk of shock is very, very low. You guys can see the leads right there. I can probably cut a couple channels into that frax with the razor knife and shove them into that frax and that would make it to where it'd be almost impossible to electrocute yourself uh, if you were working with like a bead mandrel or something like that so i've reattached this piece of the uh, frax that had fallen off of the door the door's got a, a knob now right here this door does and this is actually a drawer pull it's a uh, ceramic drawer pull, so a little cheapy, like 60 cent drawer pull. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do today is I'll probably take a series of, or a couple short videos, um, go ahead and get everything kind of wired up and I might get to the disco lights tonight or uh, that might have to wait, but um, I should be able to fire this thing up. Uh, probably by the end of the day. So that's where we're at. I'll uh, pause and come back to you. Hey everybody. Uh, just uh, it's a little bit later and I've got everything wired up and uh, the project isn't quite done, but it's, uh, it's very, very close. So figured we'd do a test firing together for the first time. Turn you guys around so you can see. Uh, before I turn everything on, I fried my little Bluetooth module and it turns out it wouldn't have worked anyways because for some reason they made it to where you can't charge it and 
play music at the same time. It had a little lithium cell in there. I was a little concerned about that anyway, so kind of back to the drawing board on it. But what I have right now is just the uh, 3.5 coming out of that hole, and I'm going to have to uh, figure out. I'll redo I have another one of these plates, so it'll be fine. Okay. The kiln is plugged in. It is not turned on. Let me go ahead and turn on the accessory. All right, the accessory is on. The phone, this is my old phone. If you can see, it's charging. All right, turn on the stereo, and I'm going to play some classical music. This is, um, you know, it's so old that it, there's no copyright infringement, so don't shut me down, YouTube. All right, got us a little soundtrack for once. Turn it down. I've got it set to 1,070 degrees, so let's see how quickly it ramps up. Look at these coils, see if they're glowing yet. It'll start glowing here in a second. I went ahead and put my insulators on my little handles. This has been a really fun project. The other thing is that I do have my lead for my LEDs for my disco. It's all wired up. I just have to actually make the assembly. So we're ramping. I have I turned it on briefly, but I haven't actually let it get fully up to temp at this point. So it's nice and glowy in there. You can see that element. This thing might start smoking. I usually do my first initial firing outside um, so all the dust and stuff burns off. Also went ahead and installed my uh, installed the handle so it's kind of sad music <laughs> should be happier music huh let's see if we can skip wow i'm really pleased with the way this thing is sounding Sounds really good, actually. See the smoke. I don't know if you guys can see that. A little bit of lispiness. Mm. 
yeah, as we're watching this, I just uh, maybe we take a little second to uh, talk about making things. I think it's really a lot of fun making things, and I got this idea in my head while I, I, when I first saw the mailbox kiln idea on uh, one of the forums, I thought, man, that's a really neat idea. Um, I'd like to do that at some point. And so when the mailbox, you know, when I uh, had to replace the mailbox at that other house, I said, oh, this is, this is a nice mailbox to make a mailbox kiln out of. Um, you know, and that's exactly what I decided to do. And then I got to thinking, I'm like, man, can I put a stereo in this thing? Um, I was at AGI, which is a, uh, an awesome event. Um, last year, this last year, and, uh, we all assumed that one of us would have brought a, a a stereo of some kind, even just a little Bluetooth speaker, and um, none of us did. And so for the first few days of the event, we didn't have any music in our shop. And I thought, you know what? Wouldn't it be cool if I bring this up to an event and be able to just plug it in throw the phone on there if the phone's going dead you know sometimes we do demos and stuff and you're running credit cards your phone is going dead um so i wanted to integrate the phone charger and well, wouldn't it be nice to not have to bring a separate speaker of some kind and uh so that was also one of the ideas oh she says come on come on 636 come on baby ramp ramp might have to adjust this uh, shelf a little bit and you just kind of bend that sheet metal. This There's a little gap. I might have to rehang these doors just a touch or uh, either that or figure out maybe like a little piece of, uh, of um, what's that called? Kiln tape or not kiln tape. Um, drawing a blank. It is called lathe tape maybe a little piece of lathe tape or something to kind of cover up that gap although i don't suspect it'll it'll uh it'll be a huge issue the uh the kiln's already at 700 and we are at eight minutes of video so i'd say five minutes to 700 something like that so for a kiln this size, you know, ramping up in five to ten minutes, it would be great. And this kiln is, should be drawing, oh, about uh, 800, 900 watts, something like that, uh, for the heating element. Wow, I'm amazed at how good that sounds. I really am. So, uh, continuing this little narration here, the next step is going to be to put uh, those LED lights all around the bottom of this thing and so I've got it all pre-wired like I said and I was thinking about maybe uh, keeping this kind of a secret as the kind of the final one last thing because you know your friend Carson he's I'm crazy but you know I like cool things so and I like making cool things so what I'm gonna do on top of this thing is I'm gonna write I'm gonna write uh, either cap glass or super cap and diamonds yeah it's gonna have diamonds on it too so I've got it 1050 cap glass street and then it's gonna say super cap and diamonds so I'm really stoked on that you know I like them diamonds and uh, you know you gotta have some diamonds on some some stuff I love things with bling bling on them so that's uh that's the other thing and that super cap i uh i have this idea in my head of my alter ego my uh my other persona being super cap so i'm cap glass but 
you know, sometimes I, you know, go, 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 super science, super cap, you know, so I'm looking forward to doing some super cap stuff. I think this is definitely a super cap project. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely where I'm at with it. You know, I'm crazy like that. All right. We're getting close to Boral's stress point. 916, 917, 18. Let's see if we can get some happier music going on. I have to use this classical music because it's, uh, you know, it's public domain and all. Uh, my phone, my old phone did not like that. It was, oh, there's the uh, stress point of Boro. So we're getting there. We know this thing is going to be good at least for uh, soft glass beads and stuff like that. We're getting there. I'd say the uh probably the max temp on this thing it'll probably it'd probably max out at like thirteen hundred or so, so definitely be able to strike strike colors um, strike colors with it, okay, buffering your station will be right back. Come on, baby. ten eighty three Do to do. Can I get you to do anything, phone? I'm just completely freaked out. This old phone is crap. I just pulled it out so you guys could, so we could have some music going on and I could show that the thing actually works. There we go, Vivaldi. Hey! Oh, 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 10, 10, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 13. Come on, there you go. Da 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 da. Here we go. Da 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 I should listen to more classical music. I love Vivaldi. My dad and uh, stepmom got me some uh, classical music one time for my birthday when I was younger on CD. Tells you a little bit how old I am. And uh, that Vivaldi, man, he's awesome. Especially this, The Four Seasons. Okay. 39. 40. Okay. Here we go. This is kind of a long video. Let's see, 15, almost 15 minutes, say three of that was me talking, and here it comes, here it comes, wow, I'm amazed at how good that sounds, and it's getting loud too, this isn't even all the way up. that's all the way up. All right, now you see that flashing out. It's trying to ramp slowly and get close. So these little cheap uh, Chinese deals that they're, uh, you can set the parameters and stuff. Anyways, if I pump it up to another uh, 10 degrees, it'll go up to 1070. It's just the, uh, the logic in this thing. Let's go 1090 and see what happens. Ooh, and she's getting warm. Let's see how warm this is. Oh, this is pretty warm too. 
Well, that might be a little bit of a problem. Eh, that's not too bad. Set a cup of coffee on here. Nah, it wouldn't stay warm if you set a cup of coffee on here. All right, y'all, thanks for tuning in. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, stay tuned. There's going to be at least one more video on this. So we'll do a final unveiling with the phone on the Bluetooth. I'll have somebody call me or something. It'll be cool. So anyways, until next time, love you guys. Talk to you later.